kept asking for it, so I thought I'd go ahead and show my collection one more time. Still don't get what you guys get out of it. But maybe it's something that you didn't see. Or maybe it's something that you want to see. I just don't get it. So therefore, I'm doing it again. As you see, I switched it up. It's kind of like a battle thing to see which CD is better in y'all opinion. I was been supposed to do this video, but never ended up doing it. This is a good battle right here. You know what I'm saying? So here it go. They not in order no more. And a lot of people just basically saying that they wanted me to do it to show the new releases. That's one of them that I got this year. It's not a lot of albums that I got this year. You know, it's a couple of them, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's what I like, you know. I know a lot of people argue like, oh, it's a lot of mainstream in there. You got no underground or this and that. It depends on what I like to listen to. So, yes, I like lyrics and certain shit like that. But at the same time, it's what's available to me. I shop at Target. I shop at Best Buy. I barely get a CD off Amazon.com. Now, can I go on Amazon and find more people that y'all be mentioning? Yeah, but wouldn't that be me buying a CD because you like it or you have it? A lot of them underground cats I really don't fuck with. I didn't come up listening to them. These are the people that... In my generation, as you know, a 12 year old through mid teenager, teenage years, and some of my early adult years, these are the people that I was listening to and that came up. Yes, Diggy is an incredible lyricist, but what you guys are talking about. You got ASAP right there, good album. You know, Travis Barker, you know. At the end of the day, it's what I like, not what you like. It was the reason why I got Soldier Boy CDs, even though I bashed them. This was horrible, and that shit had potential. You know, how many of y'all can say y'all got this album by Gucci Mane? Or this, or this, or Freeway, you know what I'm saying? It's history. Or even Mystical Ghetto Fabulous, his second No Limit release. And some of these were just because based off of a single. I didn't have iTunes and all that shit. So it was singles that I heard and I ended up liking the project. Like an album like that. Like that. This was just because he had some singles, like I said. And then you got my own pop slash R&B type of music. You know, you got the great, late, late great king of pop, of course. It's just different, man. My collection is some, I'm not going to say it's rare, but it's just different. And if you're a fan of music, then you'll appreciate it. If you're not a fan of music, you wouldn't appreciate it. And that's basically it. You know, I have a variety of everything in my collection. I just now recently in the last what, year and a half started expanding to like pop culture music. I would never listen to it, strictly rap. And these are just the CDs that have the covers for them. I still have CDs that don't have the covers for them. You know, so don't never get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand music. I'm not a fan of it. I'm a very fan of music. You follow me on Instagram, you'll see that. And even when you do, don't say slick, suck a shit. Don't say hating shit. Just appreciate a person that is real enough to come in and let people see his life. You know, as a whole, you dig? So I just wanted to show you that to y'all for real fans and real subscribers that appreciate my videos, my collections. This one is for you. And to every critic out there that got some hate and shit to say, suck a dick, fuck you, pause. Because I see y'all with that whole G and the review I did. You motherfuckers are still... I, I thought when I did it, I knew off top I was going to get criticism for it. But it's my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Now, how many of y'all go go out and support the album when it dropped? How many of y'all bought the album off iTunes? Prove that to me before you say something to me. You dig what I'm saying? Is it worth the money? Yeah. Did I purchase it? No. Actually, I did purchase it. It's on my iTunes. But that's another story. So here y'all go, man. My CD review or CD.
whatever you want to call it. I'm out.